Hey everybody. Today I want to talk to you about the stressed out entrepreneur. And the reason, the reason I put that together is because uh, if you are an entrepreneur, you have had stress in your life. You may be going through stress. Uh, we joke around how like everybody, every entrepreneur, when they walk into their office, they get a bowl of crap that they have to eat when they start the day. So that's a joke. Being an entrepreneur is fulfilling, it's exciting, it's awesome, it's very, very rewarding, and it's, I believe, it's the best expression of who you are, is, is the business you create and you run. It's like art, it's, it's how, you, how you create something that'll outlast you, hopefully, and continue to serve after you're gone. It's a worthy endeavor. Besides, all of the economy, most of it, is based on small business, and, and small businesses should do well if we want the economy to do well, right? But unfortunately, we all get stressed out. And when I say that, you know exactly what I mean. You, you've, you've got to deal with, you know, uh, management and legal issues and hiring and hopefully not, but firing and, and uh, uh, budgeting and, and all the other crazy words. Plus, you got cash flow projections you have to deal with and you've got marketing and sales and and management and uh, I don't know what else operations right and you you got to be thinking about how do I scale the business and and product development and research my goodness I mean you're probably getting stressed out just listening to this well I'm a business owner and I can tell you that that will stress you out so you go okay so what does that have to do with my business I want to tell you that if you're stressed out and you're worried about things and you're concerned about things, you're going to lose two very important things. One is uh, logical thinking and the other is creativity. I think you, as a business owner, you're going to need those things. Would you, would you agree? Logical thinking and creativity. So how do we improve logical thinking? Well, let me first tell you how you lose it. First off, the minute you're stressed, your body goes into fight or flight. Fight or flight means your pupils dilate. Blood leaves your face. That's why people get scared. They get pale, pale, and you look like you just saw a ghost, right? Um, they gasp and hold your breath, right? They don't breathe properly. So oxygen levels get affected. Adrenaline gets released. Heart rate goes up. Blood pressure goes up. Cortisol goes up. Cholesterol goes up in your body. So you have high cholesterol. I mean, you're gonna, this is a recipe for disaster, right? High blood pressure, high pulse rate, high cholesterol. Um, your digestion will stop. That's why uh, athletes who are about to run a race, right before the race they throw up because there's no digestion when you're in fight or flight. Um, also, uh, people in chronic stress are always constipated. Again, digestion slows down. Uh, immune system shuts down as well. So that's why people are under a lot of stress, they get sick a lot. You look at people who are in college, college students, you know, students, they take their final exams and the next day they have a sinus infection. The day their summer vacation is supposed to start, they're sick. Or uh, business owners, right? You're getting ready to go on vacation. You're, you you try to do twice the work you do the week before to get ready so you can go on vacation. You also know that that, that bowl of crap is going to be waiting for you when you get back because you're going to have a lot of work to deal with when you get back as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. So you do all this extra work. You sleep less. You work harder, longer. You put more energy and effort into your business the week before you go on vacation. You get to vacation. If your ability to handle the stress wasn't high enough, you get sick. So immune system and digestion shut down. But the biggest thing I want you to remember that shuts down is the neocortex. It's the, 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 the part of the brain that does all the critical thinking, all the logical thinking, the problem solving. That stuff happens in the neocortex. But the minute your body enters fight or flight, you're ready to go fight someone or run away, the neocortex, the blood leaves that and goes to the primitive centers of your brain. The part of your brain that worries about food and fighting and running away and sex, the primitive stuff, right? Um, and, and so you can't think right. That's why uh, imagine there's a student, let's say, who's about to take a final exam. And let's say this final exam is, a, is an exam that their life depends on, their future depends on, their ability to get into grad school, let's say, depends on this or whatever it might, or the job that they really dream about, they have to pass a test, uh, you know, like, like if you're in the financial uh, world, it's your series six or series seven or, or your CPA test that you have, something, something big or the, the MCAT to get into medical school, it's a big test, right? You've been studying for days. You stayed up all night studying. You're stressed, you're worried about your test, but you've been studying so you're ready, right? And you're walking into the classroom. And as you step into the room where the test is, you trip 
you don't fall, but you almost fall. You know how your heart kind of races when you, when you almost fall? And you do that gasp, and oh my gosh, my life just flushed before my eyes. Or if you're ever going up and down stairs and you trip, you're like, oh man, I almost fell. That was scary. Well, look, they were already in stress. They were already in fight or flight. Suddenly, they shoot far into that fight or flight, and they forget everything they studied. All of a sudden, they don't know what they were going to say. It's like the person who's, who got up on stage to speak, and they've prepared their speech. They've memorized the speech. They know what they're going to say. They get up on stage. They realize there's a crowd of people that are watching. They get nervous. They forget their speech. They didn't really forget it. It's because blood left the neocortex and went to the primitive centers of the brain. Now, as a business owner, are there times where you have to make decisions, important decisions? Are there times where you have to be logical? Are there times where you have to solve problems? But you're also stressed because you're worried about finances, right? If, if that customer doesn't pay, I can't pay the vendor, and now we're in trouble. We have to go deep into our line of credit. Oh, and the line is maxed already. Where are we going to get the money? How are we going to meet payroll this month? Those are stresses. I've been there. I know what it feels like. They will shoot you into fight or flight, but you can't get there because you won't be able to think logically. You won't be able to solve your problems properly. That's number one. Number two, do you need to be creative as a business owner? 100%. This is the world of disruptions. Right now, every industry needs to be disrupted. Disruption means you come up with like what Steve Jobs did with the iPhone, right? Disrupts the industry, changes it completely. Everything we thought about cell phones all of a sudden disappears. You got a disruptor. That's what's going to grow. You need to disrupt your industry. To come up with what needs to be disruptive, you need to be creative. Well, I also know that when you're stressed, you can't be creative. Right? I do know one thing that improves creativity and reduces a stress response. And when I tell you this, you're going to say, oh, yeah, you're just saying that because of who you are and what you do for a living. And yeah, you guessed it. It's chiropractic. But listen, forget that I'm a chiropractor and don't even worry about coming to us as a patient. That's not what I'm talking about. In fact, most of the people listening to this are in different parts of the world. They don't even know where my office is. Forget that. But understand and realize studies have been done that says when the body is in fight or flight, sometimes an adjustment to the spine can balance your nervous system and calm you down and bring you back to what we call rest and repair or the parasympathetic nervous system. The study was done where they gave people a pencil. They said, write down as many things as you can think of using this pencil for, um, except writing and erasing. So except, aside from those, what can you use it for? And just to test creativity, right? They, they, they had all these people write down, oh, I can use it as a hairpin. I can use it to poke a hole in something. I can, uh, I don't know, use it as a weapon. I can think of whatever you can think of using a pencil for, right? They wrote a list. And then the second group of people, they gave them an adjustment. They found an area in their spine that might have been restricted or misaligned and gave them the adjustment. And after the adjustment, those people wrote a list. Creativity was like double, double the creativity to the people who hadn't been adjusted. So listen, stress can really mess with you. It can sap and depress your ability to make money and grow your business. You have to find a way to de-stress. I'm going to do more videos about this specifically geared towards the stressed out entrepreneur. If that's you, make sure you follow us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share the video with other entrepreneurs because I want you to succeed. Why I want you to succeed is because I want to succeed and I want every entrepreneur to succeed because the tide will raise the economy and we'll all benefit from it. This has been a crazy year. Everybody's been stressed out. Everybody's been worried. It's counterproductive. It's not going to solve your problems. It's not going to serve you if you're stressed out. And remember, you're going to forget things that you were already knowing and thinking about. Let's figure out a way. The first thing I want you to do is find a good chiropractor near you. Get your spine analyzed. Get it checked. And if there's a need for an adjustment, get that adjustment so you can improve your ability to handle stress and increase your creativity. It will also improve your immune system. It will also improve digestion. It will improve your breathing. It will improve everything else, guys. It's very, very important. And the last thing I want to tell you is just because your business is stressing you out, make sure you don't take it out on your family. When you come home, forget about it. Be there for your family. Love them. Treat them. There's a book out there that says, Treat Me Like Your Customer. And it was written by the wife of an entrepreneur. The entrepreneur was really kind to all his customers because he wanted the business. But he would bring his stress home and be mean to his wife and his family. Treat your family like they're your customers, like your best customer. Wow them, impress them, be there for them, show them love. 
Thanks for listening. Come back for the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.